All right, let's just go and push the button, get down the lift. Oh, find the right one. I right, can go talk to Eve. Definitely Eve, not Crystal. Eve. I remember that now. I won't, I won't bother talking to her. She's um, well, she's useless, really. <laughs> she didn't even got a phone. She's a receptionist. Uh, let's go through the forest. Let's go talk to Eve. Oh, hello, Eve. Eve? Yeah? Ah, oh, thanks again for letting me use your homework. Thanks again for letting me use your homework. No problem, Murray. Just remember not to let this happen all the time. I will. I mean, I won't. <laughs> That's what I said. Alright, okay, we need Lloyd to help us against this creature. Eve, we need Lloyd to help us against this creature. Murray, I really don't understand what you're talking about. First you tell me that you've got these visions, then you're saying that we're all in danger from some beast or something. We are! If Lloyd doesn't wake up, I don't see us with a chance. Now you're talking like you're some kind of hero. I am. You're nothing but a college student. Not anymore. I'm a hero. I'm letting my visions decide what happens to us. Things like this don't come around every day. Right, she thinks I'm nuts. Okay then. Right, so how's, uh, yeah, let's find out. How Lloyd is doing. How's Lloyd doing? He's still knocked out. Of course he is. Don't worry though, I'll stay here with him. Good. Don't let him out of sight. We need him for the future. Future of mankind depends on you, Lloyd. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> right, how are we supposed to get Lloyd and Steve on speaking terms? Oh, let's find that out. How are we supposed to get Lloyd and Steve on speaking terms? Beats me. Try looking around for things and uh, mix them together or something. Where can I start? I noticed Crystal left her phone on the ground. Oh and dear. didn't Lloyd say something about Grant leaving his mobile when he died? Crystal, not Maybe Steve. you could look on their mobiles and find another connection between the victims. Why? Well, um, you could, um, as stupid and adventure gamey as this sounds, <laughs> yes. You could find a contact that they have in common, summon this creature you've heard about, and let Steve see it. Maybe then he'll believe you. Why? Because you said this creature doesn't take anyone that it's not aware of. Ah, so a mutual contact between the two victims is a likely target. Thanks, Eve. So she wants me to summon some... possibly ancient creature. Spirit, ghost, whatever it is. You nuts, Eve. Why would you do that? Alright, so, uh... Why does Steve think Lloyd killed his girlfriend again? Well, I know that one, but I'll ask it anyway. Why does Steve think Lloyd killed his girlfriend again? I think it's because Lloyd was threatening Krista a little while before it happened. Could be. I think Steve's jumping to conclusions a little too much, though. He asks what Steve does, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, see you later, Eve. See you later, Eve. Don't be too long, Murray. Okay, let's, um, let's go back to college. Oh, wait. No. I don't want to do that. I want to go back. I want to pick up the phone. Steve left Crystal's mobile. Better hold on to this. Hey, looks like it's out of battery. Oh, of course it is. Um, Eve? What? It's Steve's girlfriend! Look! There she is! So now you believe in ghosts, Murray? No, Eve! It's not a ghost! It's my visions! <laughs> They're showing me things that have already happened! Or are going to happen. Come back when you've got a way of getting Lloyd up and running. And don't tell Steve about this. He's in a bad enough state as it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, she thinks you're nuts enough as it is, Murray. What are you doing? I right, can have a look at this. So, this is what Steve's girlfriend was doing before she was taken. She's looking around nervously with her phone to Steve in her hand. Answering to the unusual howling in the wind. Not knowing that soon she'll be taken by a grim thing. Oh, well, that's not very nice. Don't suppose I can talk to her. I couldn't really talk to her if I wanted <laughs> to. Of course I can't. Okay, I'll go back to the college. Oh, no, I'll go and talk to that kid in the canteen again. Maybe he, uh, maybe he knows something. Extra, you know, he wasn't telling me. Yeah, let's go over here. Let's 
talk to this kid. What do you know, student? Oh, I don't want to use him. <laughs> Hello again. What now? Now? Well, that's rude, man. Uh, what was I said about Crystal? Ah. You wouldn't happen to have a phone bash on you. Nice. You wouldn't happen to have a phone? Uh, of course I do, caveman. <laughs> Everybody who's a living human has a phone. Although, admittedly, I don't use it that much anymore. Not enough people to talk to. I swear this college has gotten less crowded since the year began. There's a reason for that. There's something taking students. Well, if he's not using his phone anymore, maybe, maybe I can borrow the battery. If you're not using the phone anymore, could I borrow your battery, perhaps? Hey, of course. Thanks. If... Uh, oh, dear. Man. If you can get that dinner lady to give me yes? the deal of the day... So, if I bring him the meal deal, he'll give me a battery. So, if I bring you the meal deal, you'll give me your battery? Lend you my battery, yes. Perhaps. No, I want the battery. I want to borrow I want to take your battery. All right, okay, well, I'll have to leave him to his uh, meat feast, and canteen's not open. Mm. I think I'll leave you to your meat feast. Ta. Uh, can we use... Let's use the shutter. I can't open it from this side. <laughs> of course you can't. Okay, let's use the kitchen door. Stay out of the kitchen. Oops. <laughs> can I talk? Hello? You can't come back here. <laughs> Fine. Uh, I can't do my share then. Um, you know what I haven't done? I know it sounds weird, but I looked in that bin outside. I didn't actually rummage through the bin. At least I don't think I did. I'm going to do that now. I know that sounds weird. That's the kind of guy I am. I run me through bins. Hmm. Let's see here. Litter. Trash. Yeah. Screwed up stuff. Yep. Ah, Ooh. a magnifying glass. Magnifying glass, nice. It's only got a little crack in it. I'll keep that. Hey, Murray. Yes, Did Steve? you uh, find any food in the bin? Uh, I'm feeling a little hungry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve. No food. Hmm. Would you think you could go and get me a curly fry meal from the canteen? Should be open about now. I would go, but that was Crystal's favourite place to hang out, so, uh... Yeah, uh, sure, Steve. Got any money? Never mind. So he wants me to get him a meal, do I ain't got any money. Okay, okay I'm going to talk to him again. Give me some money, Steve. Steve? What? Money? Money, money, money. Ready? Oh, fine, Steve. I'll leave you alone now, Steve. Thanks, Murray. I'll go and get you a meal deal with my money. Can I talk to that? Uh, hey, Grant! Yeah. Get out of there! No, no use. This already happened on the way to college. No way to alter it now. Oh, okay, let's, um... Steve said the uh, canteen would be open now, so I can go and uh, go and have a look. Hopefully it will be. Ah, uh, yes, it's open. Oh, and there's extra people here. Nice. Oh, well, let's talk to the canteen lady. Or dinner lady. What do you have? Um, what's on the menu today? What's on the menu today? Well, there's that menu right next to you. Read it. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, okay, let's talk to you again. What do you have? Um, Alright, I'll ask her if she knows any students named Crystal. There'll be quite a few students named Crystal in here, but... Do you know about any students named Crystal? Sorry, son. Us dinner ladies don't know anybody of our name. We just give them food and watch them fill their faces. Of course you do. Why would you want to take uh, notice of any students that are paying you money? Now, uh, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna. I'm not gonna menu. Thanks. Whatever. I'm here all day. Yeah. What's on the menu? On today's menu Mary's breakfast mess, Miss Fish's sausage burger and egg muffin with steak and chips. Mm, sounds good. Linda's lunchtime brunch, eggy bread. Ugh. 
Uh, and for today's special and only acceptable dish for the meal deal, curly fries. Oh, nice. Ketchup. Oh, I love curly fries. Today's drinks are Golly's Crushed Grapes and Fenton's New Gravy. Gravy? Gravy? Purchase the meal deal and receive a free complimentary drink and a free notepad. Who drinks gravy, man? That's... Ugh. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Okay, let's talk to the dinner lady again because I know what's on the menu now. But what are you at? Um, yeah, I think I'm ready to order now. I think I'm ready to order now. What can I get for you today, son? Well, Mary's breakfast mess, no. Sausage, burger, and egg muffin steak chips. That sounds nice. I think I'll have the meal deal. I'll have the meal deal on the curly fries with ketchup, please. Oh, Fair yeah. Enough. What free complimentary drink would you like with that, lad? Oh, Jay, can I have the, gra I can have the gravy? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have the gravy. Fenton's new gravy. Ugh. Fine by me. That'll be two fifty. Oh. I don't have any money. No money. Well, okay. you can't usually expect to get a dinner, meal deal or not, without some cash. Come back when you've got some. Ah, where do I get money from? Um, just can you talk to her. Just a moment, please. Would you happen to have a phone battery or charger on you? Sorry, I've got a party later, and the battery's running out already. I kind of want to save it. Sorry. Hey, you maybe want to... You, know, you should really charge your batteries up before you go out. That's, that's just yeah, bad. Right. Can I talk to her? No. Can I talk to you again? Hello. Um, do you know anyone called Grant? Um, my uncle's called Grant. Mm, wrong one. I mean a Grant that goes to this college. Oh, no then. Sorry. Oh, dear. Can I ask you something? Yeah, what... Do you have any money? <laughs> um, no. Oh, why not? I don't want to borrow, borrow some money. Just a moment, please. Would you happen to have a phone battery or charger on she you? She said this. Sorry, I've got a party later and the battery's running out already. I kind of want to save it. Sorry. Okay, well, let's go and talk to this guy. Um. Hello again. What now? Okay, so bring Gus soon all that. He's not going to give me money either. Do I have to pay for everybody's meal here? That's not right. I think I'll leave you to your meat feast. Oh. Don't you guys know I'm a, I'm a struggling student? Oh, that's it. Let's um, go and talk to Eve again. Maybe she'll lend me some money. Hey. Come on, Eve, show me the goods. Um. Look at Lloyd. Steve knocked him out cold. Wow, Lloyd. You're bullying, you got knocked out cold. Not good. Hmm. There's something in his pocket, but I can't get to it. Right. I wonder if it's Grant's phone. It might be. It might be his phone. Okay, let's talk to uh, talk to Eve. Eve? Yeah. Um, how's Lloyd doing? Why? <laughs> so you're telling me you can't see the vision of Crystal behind me? So you're telling me you can't see the vision of Crystal behind me? No, Murray. I think you're the only one that can see these visions. Even though I don't believe in myself. Well, that's rude, Eve. You're supposed to be my friend. Fine. Okay, I'll well, see you later, Eve. See you later, Eve. Don't be too long, Murray. Now, what have I got in my inventory? I have a magnifying glass. Uh, crystal's phone. Can I use crystal? No. Um, I've got a battery, right? Pen. Oh, credit card. Okay, well. Uh, use road to town. Maybe we can draw some money at that bank. Okay. I'll just put my card in here and... Oh, mm, I can't remember my number. Oh. Take money out that often, do you? <laughs> um, oh dear, what do I do now then? 
I have a magnifying glass. What would I possibly use that? Hmm. I'm gonna have to have a think about this. Yeah, definitely gonna have to have a think about it. Oh dear, what would I do with that magnifying glass? 